Okay, <clears throat> this video is uh, going to go through the first problem on this energy primer from uh, the College Board AP Environmental Science site. Um, the first problem asks uh, how many kilocalories it would take to heat up 100 kilograms of water for a bath. And you need to heat it up by 20 degrees. And they give you that they give you that one kilocalorie is needed to increase the temperature of, uh, of one kilogram of water by one degree Celsius. Which makes sense because you learn that that's the definition of a calorie. The definition of a calorie is one calorie will raise one gram of water by one degree Celsius. And the way you can write this uh, equality is, or this um, uh, given information is that one kilocalorie will raise one kilogram by, by one degree Celsius. Similar to how you do specific heat with, in chemistry. So, you could see that if you had if you had two kilograms of water it would take two kilocalories or if you only had one kilogram but wanted to raise it by two degrees it would take two kilocalories so that's how we'll walk through it they they tell us there's a hundred kilograms in this bathtub and this is the this is the equality that we know for every one kilogram that you want to raise by one degree, it takes one kilocalorie. But we want to raise it by 20 degrees. And so that's, that's the steps. And you can see how this would cancel. Kilo, kilograms would cancel, calories, uh, degrees Celsius would cancel. And you could just do the math in your head. 100 times 2 times 20 works out to it would take 2,000 kilocalories to do this. Then the next question, part B says, how many joules is this? So they want you to convert this number to joules, which is pretty straightforward using some definitions that we know. So for part B, you know that there's 4.186 joules in every one calorie, and we know we're starting with 2,000 kilocalories. So we first need to convert this to calories. We know that there's, for every one kilocalorie, there's 1,000 calories. Remember, a single calorie is very, very small. And one single calorie is the same as 4.186 joules. And so you can see how the units will cancel. Kilocalories cancel, calories cancel, and you're left with just joules. Doing this math, uh, 2,000 times 1,000, 2,000 times 1,000, just add three zeros, times 4.186 is 8,372,000 joules. I could change this. You can see this is 8.372 times 10 to the 6 joules. 10 to the 6 joules is 10 to the 6 is mega. So this is 8.37 and I probably shouldn't use so many significant figures. Mega joules of energy. Um, part C wants you to convert your number to BTUs. We know that one BTU is 252 calories. So again, given what you're starting, writing what you're given, 2,000 kilocalories, and you know that one kilocalorie has 1,000 calories. This is the same first step because we want it our relationship we know is in calories, so we have to get out of kilocalories and get to calories, just the same way we needed to do that here, so that we can use this conversion factor that we know. This is the conversion factor that we know. This is the conversion factor that we know. So, uh, 
it takes 252 calories to equal one BTU. So calories will cancel. The only unit left now is the BTU, British Thermal Unit. And doing this math on the calculator, this is 200,000 again. So 200,000 divided by 252 is not right. What is wrong? Did I have something wrong? 2,000 times 1,000 divided, oh, 2 million, I'm sorry. Divided by 252 is 7,936.5 7, BTUs. That's too many significant figures, though. You might want to round it to that because you weren't, you didn't start with so many significant figures. So that's how many BTUs it's equivalent to. And then the last problem says, part D says, um, your water heater, you have a water heater that can supply 40 kilo BTUs per hour. So how long is it going to take up to heat up, heat up this water? Well, you don't need 40 kilo BTUs, right? 40 kilo BTUs would be 40,000 BTUs. So this is going to take less than an hour. You only need 7,940 BTUs. And if we want to convert to kilo BTUs, that might make it easier. One BTU is this 1,000 BTUs in the are in one kilo BTU and our hot water heater can produce 40 kilo BTUs in one hour but I know it's going to be less than an hour so let me convert this to minutes so that I don't end up with some weird hour decimal every one hour is 60 minutes so units are going to cancel BTUs will go away. This is this is a thousand. Kilo BTUs will go away. Hours will go away. And I'm going to find out how many minutes it's going to take to heat this up. If you look at the math, uh, seven thousand nine hundred and four, seven thousand nine hundred and forty divided by a thousand just moves the decimal place. Divide by forty times sixty almost 12 minutes it'll take to heat my water for the bath. Take a shower. Use less water. <laughs>